Hello, my name is Matthew Avis, curator at the Wolfsonian. And behind me, just to the left of the entrance to the Wolfsonian FIU, you can see one of the great monuments of the modern age, an Edison bipolar dynamo Type S from the late 1880s. Machines such as these inaugurated a new phase of industrial life. Electrification involved the mass mobilization of resources, the building of dams for the capturing of large quantities and forces of water, the transformation of the landscape through the construction of power lines and the other associated edifices that one passes every day while driving or walking. One of the most significant consequences of electrification was the bridging of distances between people, the user, and the generation of the resources, making the origins of industry as it entered the home, the office, the factory, increasingly invisible. Appropriate, perhaps, for a technology such as electricity, which involves the invisible transition of energy that today, most ubiquitously, powers our lives. Large-scale engines themselves and manufacturing enterprises in general were icons of this era, wherein mechanical force was the surest sign of the human hand powering progress. If civilization is in fact not a thing itself, but something constantly in process, then the movement of the dynamo signified to people that the new age, in fact, was on the very near horizon.